broadcasting from Woodstock, Georgia. Welcome to Soul Solutions, a show where we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs. I'm your host, author, and certified life coach, Terry Kozlowski. Episode 56. Actually, exploring possibilities is integral to achieving your dreams. When you hear that possibilities are endless, do you become overwhelmed? Or do you feel that for you, they are limited? Maybe you find yourself in a rut of what you think is an ordinary life. But in reality, everyone is meant to explore the limitless options that lie before them. I submit that exploring possibilities is integral to achieving your dreams. Yes, daily routines and habits are comfortable, but they don't allow for growth in your life, do they? Growth only occurs when you venture into the unknown, the new, the possible. You don't know if you will like something unless you try it. But when you do and you love it, how do you feel? Exhilarated? Wonderful? Where did the uncomfortable feeling go? You don't remember it anymore, do you? When you challenge yourself to explore the possibilities, the opportunities, new ideas, it opens you to novel ways to achieve your dreams. Why? Because the best way to accomplish your objectives may not be the route your egoic mind wants you to take. Creativity is the way of the universe, not the -the run-of-the-mill way of the ego. Co-creating with spirit allows for limitless possibilities the egoic mind cannot conceive. And being in flow will always allow for top solutions, the next best steps to arise. So how can you be open to the limitless opportunities that lay in front of you? Let go of the past. When you hang on to the past the way things used to be, you close yourself off from possibilities. Holding on to old mindsets, limiting beliefs of the egos, and defense mechanisms put into place long ago, you miss out on opportunities in front of you. Why? Because you are allowing the egoic mind to be in control of your present and your future. Releasing the past and forgiving yourself and others allows you to open yourself up to limitless potential. Why? Because when you hold on to anger, blame, judgment, or shame, you cut yourself off from the ability to even see opportunities. These feelings keep you looking backward, which isn't a direction you can move towards, is it? Accept what is to see possibilities. For you to truly see how to move forward, you must accept the circumstances you face. But acceptance doesn't mean surrender. Instead, it means acknowledging what is in its entirety so that complete understanding can occur. Only when you fully see and accept the situation can you see the limitless possibilities before you. Recognize that acceptance means that you acknowledge the egoic voice, the inner critic, but that you know what to dismiss. And when you realize the negative voice is telling lies, you can get quiet and listen to the whispers of your heart. Only then can you hear your soul guiding you. Be aware and fully present. In order to be open to see the possibilities, you must be aware of what is occurring in the present moment. This awareness means that you can't worry about the past or the future because that isn't where opportunities live. You need to be awake to the emotions and atmosphere, the fullness of life around you and inside of you right now. You must see all the parts, not just the ones you like. When you are aware, you are listening to your intuition, trusting your inner knowing. There is a recognition that you are in sync with the universe, despite what your egoic mind thinks it sees. Awareness allows you to see the limitless possibilities fully. It's about seeing both challenges and opportunities at the same time. Only when you see all the options can you choose which decision is the best for you to move forward. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. When you allow others to understand that you may be afraid, it's an invitation for those around you to see your authenticity. Yes, this can be scary, but only through our vulnerability can we make authentic connections with others. And once we are connected, the collective wisdom allows new possibilities to arise. My expertise and yours are different. 
So by asking for support, I open up more opportunities for solutions, benefits, and progress, right? In this time where competition is king, you forget that collaboration is how humanity overcomes. So put down the egoic pride and choose to include others to enable more possibilities to achieve your desired outcomes. Genuine connections with others means more opportunities for living the life of your dreams. Move out of your comfort zone. For many people, change equates to fear of the unknown, fear of failure, or fear of success. If you want to continue to live a Monday life of surviving, then stay in your comfort zone. But if you want to live the life of your dreams, you must move past the fear. You know that if you want to grow, you have to do the uncomfortable and move outside of your comfort zone. Otherwise, you keep doing the same thing repeatedly. Habits and routines need to be evaluated to see if they are helping or hindering your ability to see the possibilities before you. So say yes to new adventures, new experiences. Where these escapades lead is unknown, but that's part of your education. Learning through living. And as you live full out, you open yourself up to seeing the possibilities are endless. But even if you remain in your comfort zone, guess what? Change is still occurring, but you aren't creating the changes you want. Instead, you are reacting to the situations that develop from your routine life within your comfort zone, and you don't see the potential all around you or within you. Be open to creative possibilities. Tap into your imagination when looking for alternative options. Allow your creative juices to flow by allowing yourself to use the internal resource as a tool. This clever tool can be done by journaling. Writing things out helps bring clarity to the circumstances. Being able to visualize unique or outlandish possibilities helps your imagination see the unexpected. And in your daydreams, you can find creative solutions. Or challenge yourself to see or do something new. When you get yourself out of your routines and habits, it opens you up to see the unexpected, the extraordinary, the wonder. And if you do this exploration with others, it amplifies the possibilities to see fantastic options. Learn to ask more creative questions. For example, instead of asking why this situation is happening, a better question to ask is, now what? The why query keeps your focus on the past and it doesn't allow you to even look for the solution. But when you ask, now what? It opens you up to limitless resolutions. Another creative question to ask is, how can this be done differently? When you ask this question, you consciously look for other possibilities. As you recognize your mindset may be outdated, Looking for new options is invigorating. When you challenge your present with what could be, endless opportunities arise. Reframe your self-talk. When you move towards your dreams, watch the egoic negative self-talk arise. When it does, you need to reframe it into positive statements that are encouraging and empowering. Remember, the ego doesn't want you to take risks, and trying new things or moving towards your dreams is uncertain. The egoic mind will lie to you and say it's impossible. Therefore, it can't be done, so you shouldn't try. But the dreams that rise from your soul can't be ignored forever. They keep coming up for you to reconsider. And when you realize that the ego doesn't know the future, you can reframe the self-talk into empowering statements. The ego likes certainty, but most things you do in life don't have assurances. You have faith that other drivers on the road will stay in their lane. You trust you will reach your destination if you follow the road despite the fog and only seeing a bit ahead. So have faith that the choice you make will work out as you explore the possibilities in front of you. And if it doesn't, that you will learn what it can teach you. Exploring possibilities means trying again. When you have limitless opportunities in front of you, some choices you make won't give you the results you desire. So you try again. And if the new decision gives you less than stellar results, you try again. Each time you find a better way to move forward, you don't give up. You learn. Learning is a part of truly living. 
Growth is how you make progress towards your dreams. But for your evolution to occur, you need to have opportunities to learn. And when you develop, your vision gets more rooted and you become more determined to do whatever it takes to make your dreams a reality. Your persistence in ignoring the inner critic allows for your resiliency muscle to strengthen. Persistence is a trait of people who live out their dreams and you have it within you. It may need firming up, but it's there. Maybe you know it by another name. Sometimes it's called stubbornness, tenacity, determination, resolve, obstinance, dedication. Whatever you call it, it's within you. So exercise it when your choice doesn't work out as planned. Moving forward, exploring possibilities. Your dreams are attainable, but they require you to attend to them. It means you must no longer look behind you because that's not where aspirations take you. Instead, you need to accept the current situation, even if you don't like it. Then, when you become fully present and aware of the circumstances, you can see the limitless possibilities in front of you. When you show your vulnerability by asking others to collaborate with you, even more opportunities arise because together, obstacles are reduced. As you move out of your comfort zone to try new ways of doing things, you open yourself up to creative possibilities. As you explore the prospects, remember to reframe the negative self-talk into empowering statements so you don't fall prey to the egoic mind and give up on your dreams. Because when outcomes are not what you desire, trying again is necessary. And strengthening your resiliency muscle means learning from those times that may be disappointing. Ultimately, you must loosen your grip on what you think limits you to see the unlimited possibilities in front of you. Your ability level is an inkling of the potential within you. You haven't tapped into your full capacity yet. So be curious and courageous to see and create possibilities and opportunities to live the life of your dreams. Do you need help to see the possibilities in your life or to help you strengthen your resiliency muscle? Do you want a strategy to help you overcome the ego's limiting beliefs and live a successful life? If so, please reach out to me at terrykozlowski.com and we can put together an action plan for you to create the life you desire. If you want to learn more about how I overcame my limiting beliefs and started living my full potential, you can do so by reading my book, Raven Transcending Fear. The link is in the show notes or you can go to raventranscendingfear.com. Thanks for listening to Soul Solutions with Terry Kozlowski. If you'd like the show and want to learn more, check out terrykozlowski.com where you can find the links to everything we talked about in this episode. Please subscribe to the show so you'll never miss an episode as we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs.